guys, it's Jada, and as you can see from the title of this video, this is another Q&A. I wasn't originally going to do a Q&A today. I had a video idea in mind, but I just didn't follow through with it. So I really needed a video, and a Q&A seemed like the only really feasible thing. <laughs> so here we are. I asked for some questions on Instagram, so I'm just gonna get right in and answer as many as I can. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, all of my social media is in the description box. I feel like such a like fancy YouTuber saying that, but um, you can follow me if you want. How old are you? I am 22, which most people will not believe, but I promise you it's true. You can ask the people in my real life they know. Both Elise and me are 22. Have you seen Spring Awakening the musical? No, I have never seen Spring Awakening, but I have listened to it, so does that count? It's the zombie apocalypse. You stock up on one food. What food is it? Oh my gosh! Well, I mean, if I'm not gonna think about, like, nutrients and, like, sustainability, I guess it would be pasta and different varieties of pasta. <laughs> That's so cheating. Oh, this is a good one. So what do you think they should make a new park for in Disney World? Like Toy Story Land. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, there's so many actually. I was all ready to answer and then I realized there are so many different ones I'd like to see. Ah, uh, maybe like San Francisco from Big Hero 6. That would be really cool. I feel like it would be super high tech and like the rides would be mind-blowingly cool. And you could meet all of the Big Hero 6 characters, like not just Baymax, not just Hero, but like everybody. And I do mean everybody. You would even meet Aunt Cass. <laughs> It would be so cool. So maybe that, but also like, I would love a Moana world. Or like, oh, or Wreck-It Ralph. That would be really cool. <laughs> like you would step into the world of video games and like with the second one coming out, maybe you would go to the internet and it would be so cool. If you could be cast in any live action Disney movie, what would it be and who would you want to play? Also, I've been watching you for four years. Four years, oh my gosh. I just did the math in my head. That is a long time. Thank you so much for sticking around. That means the world to me. And to answer your question, so let me think of a Disney movie I want them to make live action. Wait, if they did Wreck-It Ralph, this video makes it seem like I'm obsessed with Wreck-It Ralph. I love Wreck-It Ralph. I'm not like obsessed or anything, but I would love to play Vanellope. That would be really, really fun. What made Disney such a huge part of your life? That is such a good question because I honestly don't know. I feel like I've always liked Disney. Like I don't remember a time where I didn't love Disney to like a super high extent. So I, I seriously have no idea. I have no clue. And I feel like my parents wouldn't know either because I think I've kind of asked them before. So who knows how it happened, but I'm glad it did. If you could have any Disney character be your best friend, who would it be and why? Ooh, so I think Elise is most like Merida. <laughs> <laughs> because of her hair, but also like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, well, I guess if I had to pick one that would be my best friend, it would be Baymax because he could protect me and be super loving and understanding and like he would make me feel safe and he's really cuddly. So maybe Baymax, but there are a lot of good answers for this. Do you prefer The Last Jedi or Force Awakens? Love you lots. I love you too and I love this question. It's really hard to pick one because I do like them both, but controversially, I'm going to say, maybe The Last Jedi. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's because Poe was in it more or because like Carrie Fisher was in it more. So, uh, yeah. I know it's really controversial and a lot of people don't like it, but like everybody needs to calm down. It's a good movie. Let's move on. I love you. I love you too. And what is your Hogwarts house? My Hogwarts house is Ravenclaw. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I mean, I've read the first two books. I've never seen any of the movies. So like, I've started my Harry Potter journey. But um, from what I do know, I wish I was Hufflepuff. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a weird thing to say. But um, apparently I'm Ravenclaw. I took the Pottermore quiz. Favorite Girl Meets World character. I had to answer this just because the words Girl Meets World make me so emotional and my favorite character is Farkle. Still. Always has been since day one and always will be. But I just, I had to answer it. Do you listen to the musical Come From Away? If so, what are your thoughts? I love Come From Away and I'm finally seeing it very soon. Oh, what are my thoughts? Ah, uh, the music is so good. It's so good. I could fangirl for ages. I did a whole video on it after like my first listen through. I wonder what I said in that. Like I haven't revisited that for a while. Do you watch any family vloggers besides the Sacconi Jolies and Daily Bumps? Let me spill some tea. 
<laughs> I'm gonna spill the tea. Okay, so this question asked me, do I watch any family vloggers besides the Sakoni Jellies and Daily Bumps? Let me say something. The Sakoni Jellies are my favorite YouTube channel in all of existence. They are the best. The Great Catnap, their first book, is right behind me. I pre-ordered their second book, it's on the way. I even have a fan account for Sakoni Jellies. I am obsessed with them. <laughs> they are wonderful people, Jonathan and Anna. I love you. I say it as if they're watching this, they're not. But if they were, I would tell them I love them. And then they ask about daily moms. Here's the thing. I'm not here to like start drama or anything. I just want to say, I personally have unsubscribed to Daily Bumps as of this week. I stopped watching them a long time ago, definitely a few months ago, maybe six months ago. I just got so tired of the clickbait and like the outrageous stunts that they were pulling. And like, it's fine. It's okay if you want to do that here on YouTube, but I feel like the current YouTube culture is so focused on clickbait and like, shock value and being like whoa what you'll never believe this and, like these crazy thumbnails where people are gasping and like arrows are everywhere and it's like ah. I feel like I could make a whole video about this because I just I am so tired of it I am so tired of like the current state of YouTube and its creators so to answer your question I used to watch the Sakoni Jolies other family vloggers I watch are Ellie and Jared the Hayes family and Claire and the Crosby's I really like the more down-to-earth, typical, everyday vlogs rather than the like, whoa, I can't believe we found this abandoned safe. Like, you know what I mean? I like the more rooted, grounded, hey, today we went to the grocery store. Today, this baby had a poo explosion. Like, that stuff is more entertaining to me than the outrageous thumbnails, clickbait, you'll never believe secrets revealed. Anyway, that was a rant. I'm sorry. I could make a whole video about that because I just get so fired up. Let's move on to the next question. <sighs> Have you seen To All the Boys I've Loved Before on Netflix? It's so good. It is so good. I have seen it and I loved it. And I want my own Peter Kavinsky. I am now taking applications. There is no deadline. Take your time. But you know what's funny? It's based on a book, which most of you probably know. And I went to see if I could find the book on Amazon. And I already had it in my book reading list of books I wanted to read. And I added it like two years ago and just never got around to it. So I'm kind of sad that I didn't read it before seeing the movie. But hopefully when I read it soon, it'll be good. <laughs> no, no, I know the book is gonna be good. I just mean like hopefully I won't be comparing it too much. Like I like to read the book before the movie, but now I'm doing it opposite. So hopefully that's a good experience. What am I even saying? If you had to choose to perform in three musicals, what three would you choose? If we're not thinking realistically like what I could actually be in, I would choose The Addams Family, Rent, and Waitress? I don't know why my voice got so high. <laughs> have you watched the new Freaky Friday movie? If so, did you like it? I have watched it. I watched it when it premiered. I was super excited for Tom Kit to do the music because he did the music for Next to Normal and that music is words cannot describe. So I was super excited and I ended up really liking the music and I think everybody in it was talented but I feel like something went wrong. I'm not sure what it is. Something I found really, really weird was that when the mom was in the daughter's body and they were in biology, she was singing about like falling in love with her daughter's classmate, which like is weird. And then the whole thing, I feel like since it was adapted from a stage version, it felt very long. Like they were in scenes for a long time. Like they were in the bedroom, the daughter's bedroom for <laughs> so long, maybe 15 minutes. And on stage, if you stay in the same like set area, it's okay. But in a movie, I was like, can they just leave the room and go somewhere else and move on? So something about it just felt very slow and very dragged out. And I also think Disney ran into trouble because they did not advertise it as a musical. I knew it was a musical because I follow Playbill and Broadway.com but the average viewer didn't know it was a musical and a lot of people weren't into it. So I feel like mistakes were made and it wasn't the best recent decom at all. But like I said, I think everyone in it has a lot of talent. I think the music was really good and really catchy. It just missed the mark. So that is it for my Q&A. I hope you enjoyed it. And if I didn't answer your question, I am so sorry. I love doing Q&A, so there is always going to be a next time. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Bye.